What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. I'm about to head on out to American Dream Mall. And it's actually my nephew's birthday. Everyone wish him a happy birthday. He's the big one zero, double digits today. And we're gonna check out the world's largest indoor water park. Now this place has been open for a few months, a few, few months, maybe a few years already. I think when the American Dream Mall opened, this is one of the highlight attractions that was open. I've never gone inside, but I've seen so much videos about it and I've always wanted to. And now I have a reason to go. So we're going to go check it out, walk around, maybe even swim a little bit and bring the camera, bring my GoPro and check out the pool. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but definitely a walk around to show you the park and how much it is and everything like that. So if you're interested, just keep watching. <laughs> Super crowded today on a, on a Wednesday. It's Juneteenth, so maybe that's why a lot of people are out. Anyway, we're going to American Dream Water Park. Almost there. This is where you get tickets. $79 online. Counter is a little more expensive, it's $89. And uh, I think we got the two hour after five, it's like 60 bucks or 70. It's a little expensive, but you yeah. have access to the whole park. Unless you get a season pass, but I'm not a swimmer. You know, I'm just here for my Nephew's birthday, so everyone say happy birthday to KB. Well, got here a little too early. I have to be here exactly at five before it opens. So just chilling, waiting for a couple minutes before we can get in. This is twilight hours, so it's 50 bucks to get in, or 60. So yeah, buy everything online, it's cheaper. Water park, here we come. So cool. Look at all the slides. Uh, we got two hours. <laughs> yeah, the lazy river. There's a lazy river. I'm gonna do the lazy river. What do you get on that? Just do a little walk around and see what else is here. I wonder how many gallons of water they use here. It is the largest indoor water park. Yeah, that's a big ass. Wave pool. I'm gonna jump in there later. That's pretty cool. I 
have this open when it, the, the mall first opened. I just had a reason to come now. <laughs> Look at these big ass slides over here. Really freaking cool. Welcome to Water Park. Unfortunately, GoPros are not allowed. So I can't use it while I'm swimming. It kind of sucks and I can't use it on the rides. But I'll just show you a little bit about the, what the water park's about. It's really good. You guys should come here. It's not expensive, it's not cheap, but hey, it's the world's largest water park indoor the lazy, the lazy river <laughs> birthday boy is up here somewhere it's like a giant playground full of water and rides pretty cool Penguin Frozen Fun Zone. This is where you go and slide down. Looks fun. It's only looks like it's for kids. Made for kids. More Lazy River right here. This is probably where I'll be in a few minutes. This one is a giant tube. And I think you ride, yep, three or four people ride and they go down this dragon. Maybe I'll ride it. Looks pretty fun. You can actually rent these cabanas. Don't know how much it costs. But uh Yeah, I guess if you have the money and you just want to have your own space, you get one of those. Here come the waves. There's a giant trek over there. Donkey, Kung Fu Panda. Looks like they're about to jump in the pool. It's a uh, nice design. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. That is Nickelodeon's water park. That's name. <laughs> it's just the water park. It's uh, and then there's also a theme park there, but we didn't go there. But anyway, it's uh, I recommend going there the twilight hours between five and seven park closes at seven and you have two hours to kill it's about 60 bucks like i said i had all the pricing here and i'll also leave you some fun facts right here we can just read about it about what the parks about how much gallon and all that good stuff i think it's definitely one of the largest here in the u.s i don't know if it's in the world but anyway also it's good if you like swimming and it's good here in the east being the east coast as you know all the winter and snow it's open year round so when it gets cold outside and you want to swim best option is to go there unless you have your own indoor pool or something but and if you like theme parks and whatnot i think it's worth worth going you know it's not cheap but if you could afford it you're gonna have a whole ton of fun so anyway guys like i said hope you enjoyed that video like comment and share share this video if you can so you can get as many views as we can and uh don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified of all our future videos down there. Hit the bell button. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.